Alright, so the Zenfone Pro M1, you've been seeing a lot of this device in the last one month on smartphone tutorials and you will continue to see this device, so don't worry about that. But today's video is about the camera and as you might have guessed it from the title, this video is going to be really really interesting at the same time really really short because we will be on a locked bootloader. At the same time, I'm going to show you guys a trick to install Google camera and enable camera to API for the Zenfone Pro M1. Now, Google camera definitely provides you much, much better quality image than the stock camera that is available for this particular device. So you will need a computer. You just need to download a small file and you need to enable USB debugging and then you can just install the APK and everything should be good to go from there. So expect this video to be really, really short. But before we begin, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because we do awesome stuff with smartphones. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos 390. Now that channel is is about motorbikes and it's gearing up to get a lot of action in the next few months so stay tuned on that as well now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is Kalash let's get going Hey guys, so welcome to the video and what you see on here is a Zenfone Pro M1 running the latest stock ROM with a locked bootloader. And in today's video, well, as I said, what we're going to do is we're going to install Google Camera. Now, let me tell you a couple of things before I actually go ahead and do that. Doing this will no way void your warranty or unlock your bootloader. It doesn't need root access and there is no harm in doing this. So if you have a computer and a you know sort of an internet connection and you want better image quality and better portraits and stuff, follow this video, install Google camera and see the magic for yourself. Now, before we begin, there are a few things that we'll need. We will need the Google Camera APK, Minimal ADB and Fast Boot, a Zenfone Pro M1, a Windows-based computer, and of course, a USB cable and some basic knowledge, which of course you can get it from this particular video. First things first, what we need to do is we need to prepare the phone to accept the command to go ahead and activate camera to API, which is a must in order to use Google Camera. So first things first, you need to go to settings and then you need to go to system. Go to about phone and tap build number seven times. Enter your passcode. Once that is done, you go back and you'll have developer options. Now under developer options, you need to enable USB debugging and hit OK. That is all that we need to do on the phone. Now everything else that we need to do going forward is sort of on the computer and then we just need to install an APK. Now before you proceed to the next step, Make sure you have the Asus Zenfone drivers installed on your computer. That is the Fastboot drivers. You have installed minimal ADB and Fastboot, which I'll be showing you now how to do. At the same time, make sure you have at least 50% battery. So there's no need to back up your data and stuff. Now let's move on to the computer and let me show you what needs to be done at the computer. All right, so now we are going to connect the phone to the computer. And as you can see, you need to select always allow from this computer and hit OK. All right. Now, as you can see, minimal ADB and fast boot, the link for this file is mentioned in the description. Just double click on it. Yes. Next, next. And let's install it, say C drive and minimal. Let's name it minimal. Next, 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 install. And then you can click on launch minimal ADB and fast boot and finish this window will open up so first we need to check if the phone is detected or not so let's go ahead and type in so what we'll do is type in adb space devices and hit enter you will see that this this serial number that you see here is your device that is connected now once we are at this particular step let's go back to the phone because we need to power the phone off and we need to put it into fast boot you can do this while the phone is connected or you can do it after disconnecting it and you can choose to reconnect it but let's press the power button and let's select power off and then press and hold power and volume up keep it pressed there you go now the fact that it says csc fast boot mode that means it is on a locked bootloader now we just need to run a command and then we should be able to install the apk and have google camera so let's go back to the computer now once again back to the minimal adb screen type in fast boot space devices and hit enter and you would notice that this serial number comes over here which means your fast boot device is detected now as you can see over here 
this particular command fast boot oem enable underscore camera underscore hall three true now this is mentioned in the description you can just copy so first let's double click on it copy go to the minimal adb window and right click and it says okay then you can just type in fast boot space reboot and hit enter so what you will notice is the phone will boot into the system and then all you need to do is download the gcam apk and copy it to your phone's internal or external memory all right so as you can see now we have connected the phone to the computer in file transfer mode so what we're going to do next is we're going to transfer the file that is the apk to the phone okay so the google camera apk is downloaded let's copy it and where is our phone there it is let's copy it to your sd card okay so our job with the pc is done and the file has been copied let's go back to the phone all right, so camera to API is enabled. Everything related to the PC is done. Now we just need to install the APK. So let's pick a file manager of our choice. I use ES File Explorer. You can choose something else if you wish to. Now I've copied it to your or mine external memory. There we have it, Google camera. Install, this time only. Settings, allow from this source and install, all right. So the app is now installed. Let's go ahead and open it. And let's switch to the front camera. Now you will notice there is no error or no force close. Now if you go here, you go to portrait, say select this. So Gcam is now completely functional and working. Let me just take a few shots and let me show you how good or bad it is. It's not bad, of course. That is not the reason we did this whole video. Yes, definitely it is good. All right. So I was just playing around with the stock camera and with Gcam. Now this is not a thorough comparison that we are going to do. We are just going to look at one or two images. But this photo that you see right here is from the stock Asus Zenfone camera. And you can see the blur effect is there, but the clarity is not that great. Now let's move on to Google camera. Now, as you can see, the artificial intelligence does a really, really great job. And that is the reason it is really, really essential to go ahead and install Google camera. At the same time, if you look at the rear camera, it is doing a pretty good job in low light as well. So guys, that was a very, very quick and easy way of installing Google camera on a locked bootloader on a Zenfone Pro M1. And you can enable camera to API as well. All the files are linked in the description and a lot of videos are coming up for this device, the OnePlus 6 and the Redmi 4A in the next one month. And of course, we are going to cover the complete OnePlus 60 launch as well. So stay tuned for all these things that are coming up. Apart from this, if there's anything that you would want to be improved on this channel, feel free to use the comment section. For now, this is Kalash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Until the next one, keep smiling, take care, goodbye.